Okay, today we're going to show you how to fix your Roku if you're getting a no signal error on your screen or your screen is completely blank. We're going to show you several methods uh, for fixing this problem. Um, if you stay with us all the way to the end of the video and try each of these methods, uh, there is a very high probability that uh, this problem will be solved for you. Okay, the first thing to try here is really the simplest. And in most cases, this one will actually work, so you might not even need to go on. Just simply unplug your Roku from the wall. Wait about 60 seconds. Now, don't be impatient here. Wait the 60 seconds and then plug it back in. This will reset your Roku. And believe it or not, in most cases, this will get your Roku back to working like normal. If this solves your problem, great. If not, let's do the next thing. I want you to look on the back or side of your TV and find where your Roku is plugged in. Right above where it's plugged in, there's usually a note there that says which port this is, whether it's HDMI 2, 3, etc. I then want you to take your TV remote, not your Roku remote, your TV remote, and then I want you to press the input or source button on your remote and choose the HDMI port that your Roku is connected to. That's our video for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please remember to subscribe.